Hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach. And today we're going to talk about something that is pretty dear to my heart, but I'm not going to go into it too much because there are literally hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of videos on it on YouTube. And that is EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Basically, it has a very special place because it was one of the first tools that I learned in the very beginning of my journey. It looks a bit strange and it feels a bit awkward, but it really, really does have its place. In fact, I even mention it in my book, Who Are You Beneath the Pain? Often people use this technique to help them just calm the nervous system down when dealing with and speaking through hard things and you can absolutely do that. Other people use it to help them with good things, good thoughts, replacing good energy, right? However you feel comfortable, as I say, so many incredible videos on YouTube that can really help you with a script, that can really help you dig deep and understand and to just find a good footing in what feels comfortable with you or not. If it doesn't, no problem, move on and find something that does help you. But very simply, what you do is you're going to be tapping on certain points in your body. So you're going to tap on the side of your hand. You're going to tap just here above your eyebrows. You're going to tap next to it like this on your cheekbones, but just under your eyes. You're going to tap there. You're going to tap under your nose, on your chin, just below your collarbone, right here, just below your collarbone. There's another place on your back, over here, and at the top of your head, like this. And it's a pattern, all right? And I spoke about it in my book. I was speaking about patterns, and I said, patterns are important. Our brain understands and looks for patterns. That's why I feel that it is so powerful. It goes along the meridian points and it really helps to calm down, but there is a soothing pattern to it as well. We remember things better when there is a pattern to it. Think about how quickly you learn a song. There is a pattern to the way the music and the lyrics are constructed. Even the cheesiest of lyrics and the simplest of tunes will repeat in our minds because of the patterns. So think of anything, maybe there is a radio jingle or there's an advert or something that is short, quick, but it gets stuck in your head. Or you've heard a song that is so cheesy, but yet you find yourself humming it or singing along to it because it's got this pattern to it. And our brains love patterns, which is, I think, why our brains, one of the very many reasons our brains enjoys the EFT. And then I speak to you about finding a mantra. Now a mantra can be literally anything that you want to believe. Something good about yourself. Maybe you're feeling unsure for most fawns or those of us who have CPTSD, we get this tendency of we don't feel safe, but we don't even feel safe in our own bodies. Our bodies feel like it betrays us on a constant basis. And it is really helpful for us to learn to be safe in our bodies. And so you can start by just tapping here on the side of your hand like this. And you can say something along the lines of, I love you and I accept you. And then leave your name, right? Put your name in there. So I would go, I love you and I accept you, Michelle. Okay. And then you would say, obviously, your name. I love you and accept you. And you just want to do that a couple of times. I love you and I accept you. I love you and I accept you. I love you and I accept you. All right. And then I want you to have an idea of what it is that you want to just reaffirm to yourself. I am safe. Right now, in this moment, 
I am safe. I am calm. I am in my body and I am safe now. My heart is settling as my breathing slows down and I realize that I am safe. As I take deep breaths, I feel grounded and I feel that I am with me and I am safe. I am in the present moment and the present moment is safe. I have got me, I have got my back and I am safe. I love you and I'm going to protect you. I have your back. There is nothing to fear. In this moment, I am safe. And so you go along. You can do something along those lines. Think of words, think of thoughts, beliefs, anything that you feel that you want to believe, that you want to know, and that will help you to feel grounded. As I said, if it helps for you to talk things out and get things out. You can do the same pattern and to talk it out. You can say something along the lines of, I love you and I accept you. Really. I love you and I accept you. Michelle. I love you and I accept you. Michelle. It was a hard day. So many things seemed to go wrong. As you went through your day, you just felt triggered constantly. And there were so many emotions that kept coming up for you. They kept bubbling to the surface and left you feeling confused and dazed. What was going on? What were we needing to see and understand in this moment? It was hard and it was emotional. I found myself at the end of the day, sitting on a bed and just crying. I grabbed for a pen and paper and I wrote all the things that were bugging me that had happened that day, searching and searching for what had happened. What was it that I needed to release? What was it that I needed to let go? As I was able to take deep breaths and be with myself and feel centered, I was able to get to the root of what was putting me in my emotional flashback. What were the feelings that were coming up? They were fear, anxiety, worry, and worried about, did I do it wrong? Did I say the wrong thing? And as you see, you keep going along and you keep tapping and you're going to say what it is that comes naturally out for you and it helps you to process and it helps you to calm your emotions. It is a great tool. Let me know what you think. An absolute gem is Brad Yates. Go and look up Brad Yates EFT. He has in some incredible scripts that he does on all sorts of different topics that can really help you feel centered, feel grounded, and work through those difficult emotions. If you've had experience with it, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't yet, if you have any thoughts, any questions, any ideas, anything that you feel that you want to just say, please do. I'd love to hear from you. Come on over to the Emotional Resilience Coach on Instagram. Say hi to me there. If there's a question you have, if there's something that you want clarity on, please do send me a message and I will come back to you right here on YouTube and we will go through it. As always, it's great to be with you. Have a emotionally free and empowered day.